In Ghana, West Africa, as many as 10,000 schools have no electricity. Students in this charity school in Assam village, which is far off the power grid, learn in dark classrooms where it's sometimes hard to see the chalkboard or to read a book. We've tried for many years talking to many big men in Ghana to see if we can get some help to get electricity to this village. But it has not worked because it, it involves a lot of money. When retired engineer Ben Markham served in Ghana as an LDS church missionary, he saw the schools lacked two things, electricity and fun. In the rural villages, the kids almost have no toys. I seldom saw the kids playing with anything other than maybe a, a cart or, or something else that could be used as a wheel. Markham later approached his alma mater, Brigham Young University, about a plan to turn kid power into electric power. Working with Markham and colleagues in Ghana, BYU engineering and technology students designed a merry-go-round that is a toy, a power source, and a science lesson all in one. Uh, the children will push the merry-go-round, it will generate electricity, store that in a battery, which will charge batteries that will be used in lights that will light the schoolrooms. The merry-go-round design is relatively simple, built with parts available in Ghana, including recycled car parts. It is also engineered to be easy to push, so it will be fun, not work. That spinning is converted through a gearbox. The gearbox takes their rotations and times it by 35. As the kids play, their energy recharges a battery station, which is then attached to several dozen rechargeable lights. Once the students have finished learning in the schoolrooms and they're sent home, that they're able to take one of these lamps home with them to light their homes. You can have evening classes. The parents can encourage them to uh, do their assignments at home. I can just imagine what it's going to be like. It's like a liberation. The amount of power available would easily recharge cell phones, would easily recharge laptop computers, which will probably be a use that we'll, we'll look to in the future. BYU students are also developing an educational curriculum that helps schools use the merry-go-round to teach science. Hopefully it'll give them an educational tool to show the children different applications of science, how to convert their energy into light energy. In Ghana, we are not taught hands-on skills, and a small opportunity is what will make the difference. You never know, there might be a Thomas Edison waiting to be discovered. Ghana's Ministry of Education would like to see six more electricity-generating merry-go-rounds installed in villages this year, perhaps many more in the future. The hope is that this simple idea will light up classrooms, homes, and faces for many years to come. It's a double dream come true, because we are going to get equipment that the children can play with, and then at the same time, they are going to get electricity from it. And that is exciting. Reporting for BYU, this is Julie Walker.